Hello my friends, this is another top 5 video, where this time, we will be counting down the top 5 most influential creators in my humble opinion. First I should clarify, being the most influential doesn't mean you're necessarily the best creator, it just means your presence either started huge trends throughout the community, or pushed the limits of the game even further than before. Basically, these are the people who had the biggest impact. Now with that said, let's begin. So fun a game is a name that you don't really hear much anymore. The levels he still occasionally puts out today are still good, but they aren't received nearly as well as his levels back in 2.0. The first level that comes to mind when thinking of great funny game levels is serious. This level which came out in early 2.0 pushed the limits of what can be done with the move trigger, and displayed one of the best boss fights at the time. I mean, look at this thing. The use of parallax in this level was also something very new at the time, and extremely well executed. Next is a trend started by funny game which is still ongoing today, travel levels. The first travel level, Lonely Travel, is known for its quite simple gameplay and long length. The visuals are quite nice too, and create a pretty cool atmosphere. This level went on to spark many spin-offs by others, here are a few. As you can see, travel levels are still quite popular even 4 years later. Now, Funny Game is also responsible for many other unique levels such as Dambro, those were some cool levels. Funny game really set the groundwork for many of the effects seen in today's levels. But now, let's continue. Manix is a creator who started to shine in 2.0, but even more so in 2.1. The first level by Manix I had ever seen was Fusion, which had instantly become my favorite level at the time. The complex textile with intense music was something quite new and revolutionary. Fusion went on to create Fusion 2, and the mega collab Fusion Z. I mean Molten Gear. Manix's textile continued to get refined heading into 2.1, where he ditched the more chaotic and messy approach for a more cartoony and clean design. Some of his best 2.1 levels are as follows.
those levels are all great, but we still haven't mentioned Manix's two most prominent levels, which probably had the most impact, the first one being Bloodlust, which may possibly be the most anticipated level in all of 2.1. This level was primarily decorated by Manix, and, by being a Bloodbath remake, had very high expectations, which Manix easily crushed. Bloodlust pushed hell-themed levels even further with many unique parts and redesigns, easily making Bloodlust one of the most memorable levels in GD. Then there is one of my favorite levels, Blade of Justice. This collab between Laser Blitz and Manix just looks amazing. And I like the color blue. Here's another name you might not have heard of in a while, but Zobras's impact on this game is nearly unmatched. This man single-handedly created the biggest trend in all of Geometry Dash with just one 1.9 level. I think we all know what I'm talking about. Nubbaba. Nine Circles is a primarily red level which is most known for its crazy wave section. This level created heaps of spin-offs which are so ubiquitous, I honestly couldn't imagine GD without them. Here are a very, very, small number of the many circles levels. There are literally so many circles levels, that Jake made a video of every single one, and it's an hour and a half long with 57 different levels. And that video was made like 3 years ago, so there's even more now. Some of the newer ones being... Second drop right now. But of course, we need to mention the most popular 9 Circles spin-off, Sonic Wave, which is also still the hardest of them all. Zobras hasn't made too many other levels, but here are his most memorable ones. Thank you Zobras, your influence on the community helped me practice the wave. Sir Ponge might possibly be a wizard, most known for his alter game levels, these things basically break all conventional rules of GD. An alter game level is just that, an alternate game within Geometry Dash, whether it be puzzle games, driving games, timing games, adventure games, and so many more, or even, all of them in one level as a mega collab. Wanna try a demo of Super Hexagon before buying it? Well you can, because Sir Ponch has literally recreated the game, in the game. This thing is almost identical to the original. But wait. 
Probably the most impressive alter game level. Master game. This guy made an entire RPG in Geometry Dash. With enemies, obstacles, biomes, a mini-map, quests, and a final boss. With two phases. Sir Ponge is someone who is always pushing the limits with new and innovative concepts. There isn't really much else to say to be honest, he is a wizard. Viprin is a bit different than all the others on this list. He isn't really known for his revolutionary decorations or his unique level concepts. He is simply the driving force of many major things in the community. There isn't anybody who has hosted more mega collabs than this guy, and many of them are the most memorable levels in the game. All of these levels which were organized by Viprin feature some of the best and most famous creators in GD. Without Viprin, it is likely that a lot of these levels would have never come into fruition. Also he has the most creator points. Okay, this video is finally over now. Tell me some other creators who you think are worthy to be on this list. I will put some honorable mentions in the description. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like if you liked, and subscribe if you subscribed. Thanks for watching, bye.